astrology. I think it's a full moon on the 10th. So maybe she'll bring some of that into it, might be cool. Um, anyway, all right, let's go ahead and get started just in a comfortable seated position. So take a moment to find your way into your comfortable seat. If that means a little bit of movement, a little bit of physical exploration, feel free. And then eventually just settle into stillness. So close your eyes, rest your hands in your lap, or if you'd like, you can bring your hands to your heart. Maybe even one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. And just take these first couple moments to really arrive here in this space. So obviously we've made it here physically, congratulations. And start to arrive here mentally, emotionally, energetically. Notice your breath rising and falling. Notice any sensations that are present, so physical. And also just energetically what's going on inside of you. Feel into the space inside your body. The energy it holds. And then any emotions that you might have brought with you to class. Sometimes when I show up to practice, I can feel a lot of anxiety moving through me, a lot of maybe excitement or even nervousness. And sometimes I feel very relaxed, very clear. So there's no right or wrong. It's just noticing how you are. Next time you inhale, very intentionally, fill up as big as you can. When you think you're full, see if you can sip in a little bit extra at the top. Big open mouth sigh when you're ready. Let it go. Ah. Do that a couple more times. Inhale, fill up. Sit up taller, take up more space. Hold in that fullness. When you're ready, big sigh. Let it go. Breathe out. Ah. One more time, biggest inhale you've taken all morning. Fill up every little space inside your body with this breath, this prana, this life force. Let it move and circulate through you. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Very nice. Seal your lips now and cultivate ujjayi breath. So in and out through your nose by way of the back of your throat. See if you can create that oceanic sound, that whisper noise with each breath. So there is some gentle effort behind the breath, but it's not forceful. It's not aggressive. But you do use your muscles. You feel your muscles working in between your ribs and your belly. You feel your entire upper body expanding and contracting with this diaphragmatic breath. So take a moment to really drop into your own internal rhythm. When you feel ready, no rush. Take your breath with you and come forward to your hands and your knees, tabletop position. And from your tabletop, just move in any way that feels good in your body, any way that calls to you this morning. So cat cows is always a good place to begin. You can start there. Maybe hip circles, or maybe you just want to sit back in child's pose, rest there for a few rounds. So anything goes, your own exploration from your hands and your knees. And you can get really creative. Maybe you even sit back into a kneeling position. Reach your arms up, stretch side to side. And release your fingers behind your back. So lots of options. Feel free to keep your eyes closed. Personally, I love keeping my eyes closed for this part especially. 
So drop out of your mind, drop out of that place that says, do I look weird? What does everybody else look like? Is anybody looking at me? Let that voice just kind of disappear. Let it fall away. Let that judgment go and just feel from the inside, do whatever you want. Make the ugliest movements you can possibly imagine and feel into them, breathe into them. Explore in ways that you didn't even know were possible. So sometimes I like to explore bending one elbow and then the other kind of waving through my upper body in a different way. Give yourself a few more rounds and then back to your downward facing dog. No rush. Good job, you guys. Once you're back in down dog, keep this exploration going. Keep moving around, whether that's big movement or small movement, I do not care. Maybe it's little baby micro movements. I can't even see them if I'm looking at you, but you feel them on the inside. So something as simple as changing the way you're pressing into your hands can change the entire posture. Something as simple as pressing down into your thumbs and your index fingers and change the way the pose feels in your wrists. Maybe you just rotate your shoulders out away from your ears and all of a sudden you have all this space in your shoulders you've never felt before. So keep exploring your down dog. If you've been in it thousands of times, I bet there's still something new that you can find, some new space you can create some new way you can be in your down dog more efficiently for your body. So using muscles instead of sinking into joints, using your breath to hold and support you. Pressing down into your fingertips as you lift from your center, lift your sit bones super high. Yeah, nice job. Good poses, everyone. Take one more big, huge inhale into your down dog. And then exhale, gaze to the top of your yoga mat, however you want to get there, forward fold. Once you have arrived, find your halfway lift position and pause for a moment, halfway lift. So crown reaches forward, your butt reaches back. See if you can bring your arms into a cactus position facing towards the ground. So your palms face down. Bend your knees as much as you need to. So I like to bend my knees a lot and really work on my butt sticking way out. See if you can press your arms up and at the same time, press your chest down. Feel the strength in your back body. Keep that strength in your back body. Now just bring your fingertips to the fronts of your shins so you're back in a regular halfway lift, but you feel it in a new way. Take one more big inhale, keep squeezing your muscles around your spine. Exhale, let it go, fold. Good job, halfway lift, find that strength. Big inhale, lengthen and exhale, fold, bow. As slow as you can, let your arms and head hang heavy, roll up to stand. Super, super slow. Keep your arms hanging the entire way. At the very, very top, your head stacks. And then take a few rolls with your shoulders up, back, and down. Eventually, roll your shoulders back and down. Palms open and receptive. So if you need to take your arms out a little bit wider, feel free. Feel that broadening through your collarbones. Feel a neutral spine, neutral pelvis. Root down through your feet, draw up through the crown of your head. Feel your breath flowing into every single space inside of you. Stay as you are, breathe in as big as you can. Hold in fullness, feel the energy inside your body. Big exhale, sigh it out. Ah, very nice. Ujjayi breath, inhale, stretch tall. 
swan dive down, let your heart guide slowly into your forward fold. Beautiful friends, halfway lift, inhale, lengthen, strength in your back body. Yeah, exhale, let it go, fold. Root through your feet, reverse swan dive this time all the way to stand. Inhale, take your arms up, maybe gaze up, hands to heart, exhale. Inhale, reach up one more round like that, high mountain. See if you can take the entire length of your exhale to dive down, some traction out your spine. It should feel relatively good. Bend your knees a lot if that feels better. Halfway lift, breathe in. Top of your head reaches forward, back of your neck is long, so gaze down. Exhale, fold, crown towards the ground, butt towards the sky, navel to spine, press into your feet, rise up, heart leads, inhale, stretch, reach, gaze up, hands to heart, exhale, ha. All right, inhale, take your arms to the sky, and then yin-yang side body stretch. So your right arm goes under, left arm over, and then reach for the right side of the room. Your hips are reaching towards the windows. Yeah, so imagine somebody's pulling on both wrists, opposite directions. Good job. Take one more round, breathe into your left rib cage, left waistline. Beautiful friends, inhale back to center, both arms to the sky. Exhale, other side. So left arm under, right arm on top, reach. Most of your weight is in your right foot. Your hips are reaching towards the door. And then imagine you're trying to touch the windows with your right fingertips. Breathe into your right waistline. See if you can feel into the space between your right ribs and make it bigger with your breath. One more round. Awesome. Nice cam, inhale, come back to center, arms to the sky. Exhale, hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Roll your shoulders back and down. So feel your shoulder blades squeeze towards your spine. Maybe you even press your palms together. Bend your elbows a bit and imagine your elbows are magnetized. Squeeze them towards one another. See if you can keep all of that. Start to reach your hands back. If you need to let your palms come apart, that's fine. Try not to lock out your elbows. Option for a little back bend, lift your heart. So not your head, but your heart. Lift your sternum. Press your hips gently forward. Hug in with your inner thighs. Take one more big in breath. Keep your clasp. Exhale, hinge at your hips, swan dive down. Yes, hang out here for about three rounds. For me, it feels a lot better if I widen my stance. So maybe you bring your feet out a little wider than your hips. So you can keep your weight just slightly forward. So more in your toes, balls of your feet. Lift your butt as high as possible. Lift your knuckles as high as possible. Maybe even reach them forward. Relax your neck. Let your head hang. Shake yes, no, maybe so. One more big inhale. Awesome, Christine. Exhale, hands to your low back. Release your clasp. Let your arms hang for a moment. Find your breath. Next inhalation, halfway lift position. Realign. Thanks, Kristen. As you exhale, fold, clench your hands, step back to plank pose. So take a moment in your plank, spread your fingers, push the ground away. So rather than sinking into your elbows and your wrists, Use the strength in your arms, in your shoulders, even in your pectorals, your chest. Take one more big inhale. And then as you exhale, like the rope is pulling up and back on your belly button, lift your hips, press them back. You might bend your knees a lot, it's up to you. Inhale, rock forward again, high plank. Your hands and your feet shouldn't need to move. So you can come way forward on your tippy, tippy toes, push the ground away, exhale. Take it back, down dog, moving from your center. Inhale, rock forward. We're going to add a push up. You can come to your knees if you want to modify. Exhale, lower halfway. Strong arms, strong belly, and strong legs. Inhale, push up, high plank. And exhale, take it back, down dog, stretch it out. Nice work. One more like that. Inhale, come forward. 
Exhale, slow motion, halfway down, chaturanga hold. Very good. Inhale, push up. Nice, Josh. Exhale, downward facing dog. You can hang out in down dog. Wait for us here. Or inhale, come forward. Take your vinyasa however you would like. So heart opener of your choice. Feel free to give yourself a couple breaths or so. Nice job. Downward facing dog as you are ready. We'll meet there. All right, Ujjayi breath, about five rounds. Move and explore if you want to. Find stillness if you'd rather. So the movement on the inside of your body. If you want to turn this into a turbo dog for a little more strength work, feel free. Just bend your elbows a lot and squeeze them in towards one another. So it's almost like you're in a dolphin pose, but your forearms are just hovering above the ground an inch or two. Everybody hips super high. So feel that invisible row pulling up on your belly button, tugging towards the top corner of the back wall. Soften your face, feel your breath. Nice poses, take one more inhale. Exhale, gaze forward, step tiptoe or hop forward, full top of your space. Halfway lift, breathe in, lots of length. Good, exhale, fold, let it go. Ha, root through your feet. Lead with your heart all the way up. Inhale, arms to the sky. Hands to heart, exhale. All right, friends, inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, yin yang stretch to the right. So right arm under, left arm over. Inhale, back to center. Other side, up and over, exhale. Back to center with your in-breath. Baby back bend, so cactus your arms, squeeze the bottom tips of shoulder blades, lift your heart, inhale, re-extend, feel neutral pelvis, neutral spine. Swan dive down, stick your butt way out, heart forward all the way down into your fold. Halfway lift as you breathe in, feel into the length and the strength in your back body. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back, vinyasa however you'd like. So add or subtract whatever you want. Skip it all together if you'd rather. Meet back in downward facing dog. Good job, big spacious breath. So feel your breath, hear your breath. Next inhale, right leg to the sky. Go ahead, whatever calls to you here. So if you wanna just stay where you're at, breathe from your fingertips all the way up to your right foot, work the length and the strength there, perfect. If you wanna open your hip, roll out your ankle, explore in your own way feel free. So really taking a moment to be with your three-legged down dog, rather than thinking of this as just a transition pose. This is the pose. What can you discover? What can you notice? How can you be more efficient in your own body today? Take one more inhale and reach your right leg super long. See if you can spread your toes. Exhale, right knee to your nose. So round your spine, hollow out your belly. Stay here as you breathe in, push the ground away. Lift through your waistline. Exhale, softly step forward, low lunge position. Give yourself a moment to just explore your legs, to stretch in your own way. So back knee might come down, front leg might straighten. Maybe you open through your front hip, maybe you twist. Maybe all you do is close your eyes, put your awareness in your legs, and just explore with your breath, with your awareness. It can be super simple. And at the same time, that simplicity can sometimes be the most pro profound thing we can do in the moment. Maybe we just need to ground, so sense grounding through your feet, and that's it, perfect. As you are ready, 
crescent lunge, rise up. Front knee over front ankle, high on the ball of your back foot. Good, nice. Find your stability by hugging towards midline. So like you're trying to plug the femur bones into your hip sockets, pull your front hip back, back hip forward. So you feel the strength in your legs, strong foundation. Little lift in your heart as you draw your belly button in and up. And then maybe you even gaze up. Feel your body in this posture. Feel your breath slow, steady. So in this moment, you are focused and alert, but at the same time, calm and relaxed. How does that feel? Take one more big inhale. As you exhale, bring your hands to the ground. Let's take a twist. Left hand stays down, right arm to the sky. So revolve lunge. Yeah, you're welcome to use a block under your left hand if you'd like. Keep your legs strong, especially your back leg. Imagine the power of the pose comes from your back leg. Yeah. And then imagine you're trying to drag your front hip back towards the back wall. But at the same time, your front knee is magnetized to your left armpit. Good, Paul. Twist from your center. So breathe down into your low belly, low back. Use your exhale to twist, twist, twist. Take one more round. Nice job, friends. End of your exhale. Unwind. Standing split, so right foot roots down, left leg to the sky. You can let your hip open if it feels good for you. You could also keep your hips square if that feels more skillful. So whatever feels right to you today. If you wanna explore in your own way, maybe take some handstand hops, maybe you play with your balance, maybe take a couple Shiva squats, anything that calls to you or hold and breathe. Be in your pose and work it with your breath. Awesome job, everyone. Nice, Chris. Take one more big inhale. Now listen as you exhale, left knee to your nose. So bend both knees and curl into a little tiny ball, get small. Inhale, back to standing splits. Lift your left leg high. And as you exhale, step your left foot all the way back. Set up a warrior two stance. So back foot parallel to the back edge of your mat and then windmill your arms up. Settle in. Right toes face directly forward. Left toes face directly to the left. Your front heel should intersect your back arch. So put your feet on a balance beam, Josh. Yeah. Keep wrapping your right butt cheek underneath your body. And tracking your front knee towards your pinky toe. So don't let your knee fall in. Track it out. Press into the outer edges of both feet. Next time you breathe in, legs stay the same, but reach forward like you want to touch the front wall. So see if you can even slide your rib cage forward. And just tip it over. Right hand towards the ground, left arm towards the sky. So as you tip it over, I don't mean collapse. So you'll reach forward. And what we don't want to happen is this. So your heart shouldn't be looking down. We reach forward and all that happens is our arms change. Heart stays open, hips stay open, shoulders open. You can reach forward if you'd like. You can take a half bind or a full bind if it's in your practice. Take about two more deep breaths. Keep pressing into the outer edges of your feet. Big and spacious all the way to empty with your exhale. Nice work, friends. Next time you breathe in, come back up to your warrior two stance. Straighten out your front leg. Pivot all of your toes to face towards the windows. Arms to the sky, inhale here. And as you exhale, swan dive down, wide-legged forward fold. Anywhere you would like to take this for about five deep breaths. So feel free to move around a lot, maybe just a little, or maybe not at all. Maybe you just feel the movement on the inside. Soft face, forehead, jaw, even the inside of your mouth.
Good job. Take one more round. Feel free to open mouth, sigh with your exhale. Ah, inhale, halfway lift, fingertips on the ground. So bend your knees as much as you need to. Stick your butt out, reach the top of your head forward. Slowly crawl your hands to the top of your mat. Rotate your toes to face forward so you're back in your low lunge. From here, three-legged down dog, right leg to the sky. Breathe in. You can exhale straight to down dog or exhale rock forward, your variation of plank to chaturanga. So maybe you hover your right leg, maybe you bring your right foot down, maybe knees down, up to you. Heart lift. Stay for an extra breath or two if you want. Eventually everybody downward facing dog. Ujjayi, so reconnect those deep diaphragmatic breaths. Feel your entire body breathing with you. Next time you inhale, left leg to the sky. So go ahead and whatever calls to you on this side, open your hip, roll out your ankles, circle your knee, or maybe you just hold and breathe. Work your pose with your breath, work your pose with your awareness. Work your pose from the inside. Stay connected to your center. Stay rooted through your fingertips. Very nice. Beautiful job. Take one more inhale. Everybody extend your left leg long. See if you can spread through your toes. Exhale. Left knee to your nose. So round your spine. Hollow out your belly. Stay here as you breathe in. Lift, lift, lift. And exhale. Step through. Sorry. Softly. Left foot forward. All right, take a moment to stretch your legs however you want. So make it feel good to you. And again, maybe all you do is close your eyes and explore with your awareness or with your mind's eye. Take a little inventory. How are my hips? What's going on in the backs of my legs? What's going on in my ankles, my toes? Good job. Couple more rounds wherever you want to go. And crescent lunge is our eventual destination. Nice, Laura. So front knee over, front ankle high on the ball of your back foot. Hug in towards midline to find your stability. Little tone in your lowest, deepest abdominals. So you're not squeezing your six pack, but you feel this little tone as you draw your belly button in and up. That's your transverse. They support your low back. So feel your low back length and feel your heart lift as you draw your belly button in and up. Maybe gaze up and then feel your breath slowly moving through. Focused and alert, calm and relaxed. All at the same time. Take one more inhale. Exhale, hands come down. Twist. So right hand stays on the ground, or you can use a block, left arm to the sky. I personally just lift up to my right fingertips usually. So feel into your pose. Legs strong, especially your back leg. Twist from your center. So not from your arms or your legs, but from your core. Your left hip wants to pull towards the back of the room. Feel that energetic pull or create that energetic pull. And then at the same time, left knee is hugging towards your right armpit. So you should feel it in your center. One more round. Use your exhale to work your twist. End of your exhale. Let it go. Unwind. Nice, Christine. Standing splits. Left foot roots. Right leg floats high. You can let your hip open if that would feel better. You can keep it. Close, squared off, if that works better for you. Anywhere you want to go, any way you want to explore. So hold and breathe. Find that sense of stability and stillness on the inside. Maybe you play with your balance. Maybe you play with handstand hops. Maybe you play with Shiva squats. Soft face, soft forehead. Big deep breaths. Awesome. One more big inhale, everyone. 
Exhale, right knee to your nose. So stay balanced on your left foot, but curl into a little ball. Get small like you're doing a crunch. Inhale, re-extend your right leg up. And then exhale, step your right foot all the way back. Will your two stands rise when you are ready? Vira Bhadrasana two. Thanks, Kirsten. So left knee tracks towards your pinky toe, not your big toe. Up your left butt cheek underneath you. Good, Josh. All right, side angle. Inhale, reach forward. So reach as far as you can. Slide your rib cage. And then just left hand towards the ground, right arm towards the sky. So nothing collapses or closes off. Your heart stays open. Your hips stay open. Your shoulders stay open. That looks so good, everyone. If you want, you can take your right arm forward, lengthening through your right side. Half bind, full bind. Couple more breaths. Inhale, back to warrior two. Straighten out your front leg, parallel your feet, arms to the sky. Inhale, exhale, takes you down slowly. Heart leads and crown towards the ground, but towards the sky. Work your wide-legged fold or explore any way you want to. About five breaths. Good job, noticing whatever comes, whatever goes, and letting it. Noticing what is annoying you even. So I think that's a good practice to observe in ourselves, is what bugs us when we're paying attention, and then how can we step back and just come from that place that isn't so easily swayed by our outer conditions, by external forces. Come back to our own breath, our own sense of center. Next time you inhale, halfway lift position, fingertips on the ground. Walk your hands to the top of your mat, rotate your toes to face forward again. So back into your low lunge. From your low lunge, three-legged dog, left leg to the sky, breathe in. You can exhale to your down dog or exhale to come forward into a plank of your choice. So modify if you want, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart, very nice. Downward facing dog takes you back. Your exhale takes you back, I should say. Give yourself just a moment to feel here, to breathe here. If you want to grab a quick child's pose, now would be a great time. So we'll move through that entire sequence, one breath, one movement. It doesn't mean we speed through it with momentum. It means we move super slowly with our big deep breaths. It means we move with intention, with attention. If at any time you wanna do your own thing, you wanna take a break, that is always your option. It's fine with me. So this practice is yours. Give yourself what you need. If you're coming with me, downward facing dog. One more great big inhale. As you exhale, look forward. However you want to get there, feet to the top of your space. Forward fold. Inhale to your halfway lift. Back of your neck long like you're gazing over the edge of a diving board. Exhale, fold. Let it go. Nice, Chris. Root through your feet. Reverse swan dive all the way up. Arms reach, big stretch. Hands to heart, exhale. Ah, all right, here we go. Inhale, arms to the sky. Yin yang, side body stretch to the right. Right arm under, left arm on top. Back to center, breathe in. Other side, left arm under, exhale. Inhale, back to center, reach. Baby back bend, cactus your arms. Squeeze the bottom tips of shoulder blades, curl open. 
Inhale, re-extend, realign. Swan dive down, exhale, traction out your spine. This should feel relatively good. With your inhale, halfway lift position. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back. See if you can keep that exhale going lower down. Chaturanga, you can always skip it if you'd rather. Heart lifts, inhale, shoulders back and down. Good, hips lift, exhale. Great big inhalation. Take your right leg to the sky nicely. Use your core strength. Step your right foot forward softly. Strong legs. Inhale, rise up. Crescent lunge. Lift your heart. Lift your gaze. Feel your pose. Exhale, hands come down. Legs stay the same. Add your twist. Inhale, your right arm to the sky. Gaze up at your right fingertips. Exhale, unwind. Root into your front foot. Standing splits. Left leg floats high. Inhale here. Exhale, left knee to your nose. So curl in, get small. Inhale, re-extend your left leg up. You can take a handstand hop if you want. And exhale, step your left foot back, back foot parallel to the back edge. Warrior two with your in-breath, settle in. Exhale, reach forward and tip it over, empty all the way out. Inhale, rise up, reach both arms up, straighten your front leg, parallel your feet. Exhale, swan dive down, wide legged forward, fold all the way to empty in your breath. Halfway lift, fingertips on the ground, breathe in. Exhale, crawl your hands forward, rotate your toes forward, low lunge. Inhale, three legged down dog, right leg high. Exhale, straight to down dog or rock forward, your variation of plank to chaturanga. Heart lifts as you inhale, point your elbow tips back. Try not to lock out your elbows no matter how high you lift. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg high. Softly and slowly, exhale, left foot through. Beautiful, rise with your in-breath, crescent, strong legs, connected to your center, heart lifts, gaze lifts, exhale, hands to the ground, legs stay the same, add your twist, inhale your left arm up, maybe you gaze up at your left fingertips, let the left side of your heart open, exhale, let it go, standing splits, right leg high, see if you can spread your toes, Exhale, right knee to your nose, so round, curl in, crunch. Nice cam, inhale, re-extend, take a hop if you want, just for fun, just to play. Exhale, step back, set up your warrior two stance, and with your inhale, rise. Beautiful. Exhale, side angle, reach forward, tip it over all the way to empty in your breath. Press into your feet, rise up, reach up, parallel your feet, straighten your front leg. Exhale, swan dive down, all the way to empty, navel to spine connection, dive as deep as you can. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips down, bend your knees if needed. Exhale, crawl your hands forward, back to a low lunge. Inhale, three-legged down dog, left leg high. Exhale, down dog or rock forward. Take your vinyasa. Beautiful, nice Josh. Back to downward facing dog. Find your breath. We have one more round, one more time through. I'm gonna add a few things. So pay attention, stay present, listen to my cues, just like you always do. If you are coming with me, one more big inhale into your down dog. Exhale, look to the top of your space, step or hop, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, bow. Ha. Root through your feet, rise up. Big full body stretch, inhale. Exhale, hands to your heart, connect back with you. Here we go. Inhale, arms reach up. 
Yin yang side body stretch to the right, right arm under. Back to center, breathe in. Other side, exhale. All the way to empty in your breath. Inhale, back up. Baby back bend, cactus your arms, lift your heart, hug in with your inner thighs. Now listen, inhale back to high mountain, realign, re-extend. Exhale, chair plane or drinking bird. So swing your arms back, maybe lift to your tiptoes, knees bent a lot. Stay on your tiptoes if you'd like, high mountain all the way up as tall as you can grow. Maybe stay on your tiptoes as you slowly dive down, forward fold. Heels on the ground as you breathe in and find your halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back, Chaturanga Dandasana, lower down. Heart lifts with your inhalation. Beautiful hips lift with your exhalation. Now listen here. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, right knee, left elbow as close as you can come. Push the ground away. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, right knee, right arm as high as you can get on your arm. Aim for your armpit. Inhale, back up, three-legged. Now everybody, knee to your nose, scoop out your belly, then softly step through, low lunge. Rise up, crescent lunge, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Good, exhale, hands back to the ground. Keep your legs in the same position, twist. Inhale your right arm to the sky, open up. Exhale, let it go. Root into your right foot, left leg high, standing split, spread your toes. Exhale, knee to your nose, round, hollow out, little crunch, get small. Inhale, re-extend your left leg up, maybe you take a little hop. And exhale, step your left foot all the way back, set up your warrior two stands. Inhale, Virabhadrasana two, rise. Exhale, side angle, reach forward, tip it over, pause here. You can stay in your side angle or option to move into your balancing half moon. So maybe you take a block with you. Right hand reaches forward, left foot floats up, left leg strong and powerful like you're karate kicking the back wall with your left foot. Yeah, everything open, hey, Sophia. Breathe, beautiful friends. Take one more deep breath. Come back to a warrior two, land as softly as you can. So take a moment to settle in. And from here, next inhale, reverse your warrior. Front palm rotates up, reach up, reach back. Exhale, come back to your warrior two. Straighten your front leg, parallel your feet, arms to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, swan dive down, wide-legged forward fold. Halfway lift, fingertips on the ground, stick your butt out. Exhale, walk your hands forward, rotate your toes forward. Three-legged dog, right leg to the sky. Listen here, open up your right hip, bend your right knee. So feel your right hip stack on top of left. Perfect place to stay or option to flip your dog. Right foot comes down behind you. Right arm lifts and reaches forward. Maybe your right hand is behind your head. Heart lifts, hips lift. Breathe down into your belly. One last round of breath. Beautiful, everybody meet in downward facing dogs. So both hands, both feet on the ground, walk it out. Find your breath, you can keep walking it out. Or next inhale, rock forward to high plank. Option to hover your right leg if you want to. Exhale, chaturanga, lower slowly. Nice, Paul, inhale, lift your heart. Shoulders back and down, elbow tips point back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Here we go. Inhale, left leg to the sky. 
Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Use your oblique strength. Twist. Inhale, back up. Three-legged stretch and lengthen. Exhale, left to left. Get as high as you can on your left arm. Inhale, back up. Stretch it out. And then with your exhale, knee to your nose. Scoop out your belly. Push the ground away. Step through. Rise, crescent lunge, arms to the sky, heart lifts, gaze lifts, strong legs. Exhale, hands down, revolve, lunge, left arm up. See if you can really open through the left side of your heart space. Exhale, let it go. Left foot roots, standing splits, float your right leg up, spread your toes, active through your right foot. Exhale. Curl in, knee to your nose, get small, hollow out, empty out. Inhale, re-extend. You can take a handstand hop if you would like. Exhale, step your right foot all the way back. Warrior two stance, rise with your inhale, Virabhadrasana two. Exhale, side angle, reach forward, tip it over, pause here, and either hold or balancing half move. Left hand reaches forward, maybe you take a block with you. Right leg floats up, right foot is active. Imagine you're trying to stomp it on the back wall. Good, beautiful. If you're shaking, I love that. It means you've met an edge, be with it, breathe into it. You fall out. Come back in when you're ready. That's why we are here. We're practicing. Take one last big breath. Come back to your warrior two stance. So soft landing if possible. Nicely. Take a moment to settling back into your warrior two. We'll reverse our warrior with our next inhale. So front palm up, reach up, reach back, lengthen, make it feel good. Exhale back to warrior two. Inhale, straighten your front leg, parallel your feet, reach your arms up. And exhale, swan dive down, all the way down, all the way to empty. Halfway lift, fingertips on the ground, breathe in. Exhale, crawl your hands forward, rotate toes forward, low lunge. And inhale, three-legged down dog, left leg to the sky. Hold here and open up your left hip. Bend your left knee. Good. So feel that opening in the front of your left hip. You can stay here, work this pose, breathe into this pose, or option to flip your dog. Left foot comes down, heart forward. Beautiful, Chris. Nice, Kirsten. Breathe down into your belly. Amazing, you guys. One last round wherever you are at. And downward facing dog, walk it out nice and easy. Find your breath. Stay in down dog, keep walking it out or inhale, rock forward, high plank. Option to hover left leg if you would like. Exhale, chaturanga lower, ha. Heart lifts as you breathe in. And then everybody, resting pose of your choice. So child's pose, embryo pose, hero's pose. And you just want to lay on your belly for a moment, belly down to Shavasana. And just notice whatever there is to notice. Feel whatever there is to feel. Almost like you're coming back to the very beginning of our practice when all we were doing was sitting and breathing. Do that here. Just be where you're at, feel your breath. And then take a couple open mouth sighs if you'd like. Come back to this moment to what is happening now feel it all next couple rounds downward facing dog Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, take a great big inhale into your down dog. As you exhale, look to the front of your mat, top of your mat, step or float, forward fold. Halfway lift as you breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, fold, let it go. Chair pose, so weight in your heels, bend your knees, lift your heart. And we'll twist this chair pose to the right. So you have a few options. I personally like to bring my left hand down in between my feet, right arm to the sky. If you like a prayer twist, or if you have some other variation you wanna take, feel free. Twisted chair towards the right side of the room. Your butt is reaching back. Your knees are nice and flush, nice and even. Good. Use your breath. So each exhale, work your twist from the inside. This is one of the most uncomfortable poses in yoga, in my opinion. See if you can be with it and soften around it. Two more breaths. Use your exhales. Very, very end of your next exhalation. Unwind. Nice job, you guys. Forward fold. Feet, I would recommend about hips width distance apart here. Wrap your peace fingers around your big toes. So index finger, middle finger around big toes. If you need to bend your knees a lot to make that, to make that uh, connection, to grab your toes, that's fine. See if you can keep your clasp around your toes and inhale to a halfway lift. So your knees might stay really bent, but try to stick your butt out, reach the crown of your head forward. And then exhale, fold deeply, crown towards the ground, butt towards the sky, navel to spine. Even as you are holding your toes, try not to rock back into your heels too much. Bring your weight just ever so slightly forward. Use the strength in your core to help you balance. Breathe deeply, breathe into your back body, breathe down the backs of your legs. Take just one more round. Work your hold with your exhale. Release your toes, take one more halfway lift, realigning your spine one more time. And exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, plank position. Pause in your plank, Vashistasana, side plank, right hand is your base. So roll onto the baby toe edge of your right foot, or if you'd like, your right knee can come to the ground to modify. Lift your hips super high, maybe left arm reaches forward, side body stretch. Maybe left leg floats up. So make this your own. Give it everything you've got. So much strength. And then find a little bit of softness, a little bit of sweetness. Take one more big, deep breath. Nice job. End of your exhale, plank or modified plank. Inhale at the top and push the ground away. Slow motion all the way to your belly. Start with a baby cobra. Lifting with your back strength rather than arm strength. Float your hands up and reach your hands back. Float your feet up and reach your toes back. Locust pose. Hug in with your inner thighs. And imagine you're trying to rotate your inner thighs up towards the ceiling. See if you can feel more strength in your back body or find more strength in your back body by bending your elbows and squeezing them towards each other behind your back. Take one more big inhale. Yes, exhale, let it go. Ah. Take a moment, just resting on your belly. Breathe into your low back. Maybe shimmy your hips side to side a little bit or even windshield wiper your shins. In your next three, four rounds, downward facing dog, however you want to get there. Ujjayi breath, fire it up, inhale into your down dog, exhale, look to the top of your space, step or hop, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, 
Exhale, bow, fold. And then chair pose one more time. So bend your knees, weight in your heels, lift your heart, lift your arms. Take a moment to settle into your chair, weight back in your heels. And then when you're ready, twist towards the window. So your right hand might come down in between your feet. Maybe your right hand comes to a block in between your feet, left arm to the sky. Maybe you take a prayer twist or some variation of a twist that you like. Make sure you can breathe. Make sure your spine is long. Your hips are reaching back. Your weight is in your heels. Your knees are nice and even, flush with one another. Even though this is so uncomfortable, can you breathe in every space? Can you let your breath move through you, flow through you? Use your exhales to work your pose just a little deeper from the inside. Last couple of rounds. Soft face, soft jaw, soft forehead. And of your exhale, unwind, forward fold. All right. Again, you might need to bend your knees a lot to get this. You're going to take your arms outside of your legs and then hands to the back of your ankles, forearms to the backs of your calves, elbows to the backs of your knees. So you're getting really close together, your upper body and your lower body. I like to put my belly right in between my thighs and then start to press your arms into your legs, your legs back into your arms and lift your butt straight up towards the ceiling. Feel that invisible rope pulling straight up on your belly button. Neck is relaxed, crown towards the ground, butt towards the sky, navel to spine, press arms into legs, legs into arms. This is an active forward fold. Breathe into your back body, breathe down the backs of your legs. One more huge breath. Use your exhale to fold as deeply as you can. End of your exhale, release your arms, halfway lift. Inhale into your spinal extension. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, plank pose. Pause in your plank. This time, left hand is your base, Vashi stops in a side plank. Roll onto the baby toe edge of your left foot, right arm to the sky. Lift your hips super, super high to get out of your wrist and your shoulder. Nice, Josh. Maybe reach your right arm forward and feel your side body stretch. Your right side is super long. Breathe into that length. Maybe your right foot floats up your right leg. So your fullest expression on this side. One more round of breath. And end of your exhale. Nice work. Plank or modified. Inhale at the top of your push-up. Slow as you can go down to your belly. Ah, baby cobra. This is your last big power pose. So once you're in your baby cobra, just like we did before, move into locust. Float your hands up, reach them back. Float your feet up, reach them back. You can stay here or options, interlace your fingers or full floor bow. Bend your knees, grab hold of your ankles or the tops of your feet. All variations, hug in with your inner thighs and imagine you're trying to spiral your inner thighs up towards the ceiling. Back muscles strong, back of your neck long. Breathe down into your belly. One more inhale, hug in with your inner thighs, lift your heart. Exhale, let it go, rest down, nice job. Take a moment resting on your belly. Take your hips a little bit, shimmy your hips or maybe windshield wiper your shins. In your next three or four breaths, however you wanna get there, whatever movements, poses you wanna take in between, find your way back to downward facing dog. Find your breath, slow, steady, spacious. From your down dog, inhale your right leg to the sky. 
and exhale pigeon pose right shin forward set your body down gently if you would rather take this in a seat or on your back of course you are always welcome to nice job good awareness setting yourself up so set that structure up what we call the integrity of the pose hug in towards midline plug the femur bones into your hip sockets bow when you're ready take your heart forward Slow, deep breath. Just letting whatever comes, come. Whatever goes, go. Even if it's uncomfortable, even if you don't like it. See if you can sit with the discomfort you might feel in your body. And rather than trying to ignore the discomfort, notice it and say to it, I see you, I feel you, I'm here with you, I will hold you, I will give you my breath. Soft face, soft jaw. Soft fingers. Take about three to five more breaths. Open mouth exhales at any time. Ah. Good, you guys, last couple rounds. And slowly begin to ease your way back up. However you want to get there, back to a downward facing dog. You can make that transition however you would like. Maybe a three-legged dog, maybe a tabletop, maybe some cat cows, a vinyasa. Just walk it out. And then I'm just going to say, find your way into pigeon on your left side as you're ready. So in your own time, left leg to the sky and left shin forward. Take just as much time, care, awareness to set yourself up on this side as you did on the other side. Breath by breath, just allowing your body to melt into the pose. So we don't hold these poses for a long time so we can get tighter and tighter around them. We hold them for a long time so we can soften so our bodies have time to relax into them. So we'll hold that structure you've created, the integrity of the pose, and then soften around it. Relax around it. Soften your outer shell. Soften energetically. Something I heard recently that I really like is when it comes to behavior change, going slower is often necessary in order to go faster. Patterns require a great deal of attunement to see clearly, let alone to modify. 
well, that's what this practice is. It's not about moving quickly and not paying attention, just going through the motions. It's about moving slow with awareness, taking time to feel, to make those little adjustments, to change our patterns, to change our habits, to be more intentional with every single moment, to be more intentional with how we place our bodies in space, with how we breathe. And it doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen by going fast. It happens by going slow. And then slowly it becomes more natural. Take about three or four more breaths on this side. I'm just going to leave it up to you since everybody came into this at a slightly different time. So please don't feel rushed. But when you feel pretty even on both sides with your pigeon, slowly transition back to one last down dog. If you would like it, one last vinyasa. Or if you would prefer it, one last child's pose. Good, moving in whatever way calls to you or finding stillness, breathing into the space you've created. Everybody in your next couple of breaths, transition down onto your back, supine position facing either direction. So you can face towards the back or the front of the room. I do not care. Once you are on your back, just draw your knees towards your belly and gently rock from side to side for a moment. So give your low back a little massage against the ground. Eventually, let your knees fall to one side for a supine spinal twist. If there's a certain variation you want to take, choice is yours. And go to either side first. Opposite arm reaches out, gaze up or to the opposite direction. Just let your body give in now. Let the ground hold you. So any places that you feel like you're trying to hold yourself, relax, soften. In your next couple breaths, switch to the other side. After you feel even on both sides, no rush, take your time. Eventually come back to the center and find a happy baby pose. And rock it out in your happy baby. Maybe even extend one leg and then the other, both at the same time. 
and eventually start a transition into your final relaxation. These last few moments of class, I'll play my sound bowls and see if you can just let the sound move through your body just as much as you're hearing it with your ears, hear and feel it in your body. Other than resisting it, just allow it. Allow any sensations to come and to go, and to just circulate through. Your breath can be effortless. Your body is relaxed wide open. Shavasana.
Take a deep breath in. And let it go. Just bring gentle movement back into your body. As you feel ready, roll to either side, fetal position, and take a moment there resting on your side body. And using the strength in your arms, guide yourself up into seated meditation facing towards the front of the room. Just sit up nice and tall with your eyes closed. Exhale in your breath. And one last time, sweep your arms out around and up. Just symbolically gathering in anything that came through for you in your practice and exhale, bring it into your heart, hands to heart. Thank you so much for being here, for showing up, taking the time to do your practice and letting me guide you through it. The light in me sees and reflects the light in you. Namaste. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are the best. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow morning if you're feeling it. <laughs> Last week it was me, Kirsten, a couple of weeks. So hopefully, somebody. Lee, will you come five? Love you, Mom. If you're still there. Okay.